Alright, so today we're going to show you how to measure your gun belt. Um, this is a, one thing that seems simple but can get kind of complicated. So essentially you want to take a tape measure. Any kind of tape measure will do. Um, I actually have a tape measure that um, is a seamstress tape measure, which is the easiest one. You can use a normal one. Or if you don't have a tape measure, you can also use a piece of string and then um, wrap the string around, mark it, and either send it to us and we'll measure it out or measure it yourself um, with a ruler or whatever you have. Um, so when you're measuring, you want to make sure that you are wearing what you're going to wear when you're shooting or wearing something a little bit bulkier. The reason being because that does make a difference. Now we do have seven holes on our belts which allows for winter clothes or um, shrinkage or growth, whichever. Um, so I'll show you how to measure. So you're essentially going to take your tape measure. This is for the men. Um, you're going to take your tape measure and you're going to go right around where you would wear it, which is usually right below the pant line. You can see my pants are right here. I'm going to wear my um, gun belt down here. So you'll measure that around, and mine measures out to a 35. So that's what you would mark as your um, gun belt size. Now your gun belt size is generally four to six sizes larger than your pants size. Um, that does vary different for women, um, because women's pant sizes are measured differently than men's are. But for the men, it's four to six sizes larger than your pants size. Now, when ladies are measuring, um, we have what's called a lady curve. So you're going to measure the same, um, but since we have a little bit more hips, you're going to measure around, and you're going to kind of measure at a little tiny bit of an angle there, um, and it's a little bit higher up, closer to the belt, so that you can accommodate for that space. So when I do that, my gun belt's actually going to measure out to a 34, whereas when it was down here, it measured out to a 35. Um, that is accommodating for the hips. In which case, when we do our lady curve on our belt, it'll allow the belt to lay flat against the back versus a straight hang belt, which gives you a gap. So next, we're going to measure the shotgun belts. Your shotgun belts are measured in between your pant line and your belly button. Um, first ask rules, you can't go above your belly button when you're wearing your shotgun belt. So you'll take your tape measure around just like you would when you're measuring a gun belt. And I usually wear my shotgun belt right about here, which my belly button is here, so you can see I wear it a little bit closer versus where my pant line is down here. And that's going to measure out at a 30. Um, so that's kind of where you want to wear it. And again, make sure that you're wearing the clothes that you're going to be wearing when you're shooting, because that does make a difference, and we want to make sure that that space is accommodated for. Um, for ladies, you're going to measure the exact same as men when it comes to your shotgun belt. And that will sometimes be the same measurement as your gun belt, which is perfectly fine. Sometimes it can be a little smaller or a little bit bigger. It's not based off of your pant size. Um, it is just based off of your waist size and what that measurement comes down to, which is why it's so important to measure for your shotgun belt. All right, so the last way to measure is gonna be your pant belts. So your pant belts are not actually measured in exact inches. So your pant belt, say you are a 34 pant, your pant belt will actually measure out to something like 38. When you're placing your order, always place your order with your pant size. So if you wear a 34 pant, that's what you will place your order for. When you come to a women's pant size, um, you're going to measure out um, sort of the same. So essentially, say you wear a size 6, a women's pant size may come out to something more like 34 or 35. Um, so women's pant sizes, since they're measured differently, I would suggest looking up a chart or something to that effect to try to get um, the number is a little bit more accurate, and we will accommodate that on our size. Um, we can also do what's called a lady curve on our pant belts as well, which a lot of the ladies like. That's what I wear on my belt. Again, to accommodate for the hips and make sure that it's laying flat against your back and you're not having a gap. 